All right, we want to take a look at graphing a line uh, with two different methods. One is being uh, point plotting, so we're going to find two points of the line and put those on, on a rectangular coordinate system and draw the line between them. And the other one is going to be looking for the x and y intercepts of the graph and then finding those two points to graph the line. So in our first method, we're going to take a look at this example, uh, negative x plus 4y is 15. Now, when we want to do graphing by point plotting, it's usually helpful to take a step back and figure out, well, what are some easy ways to find a solution uh, for one of the variables when uh, you're given a number for the other variable? So in this case, you know, if I wanted to choose a, a value for x, I want to make sure I pick something relatively nice so that when I solve for y, I'm not going to have to do anything complicated. Uh, in this case, when I look at negative x plus 4y is 15, a nice choice for x is going to make the answer over here when I add this number on the left hand side to the right um, to the right hand side for solving for y is divisible by 4. So if I pick 1 for x, I know I add 1 to both sides to remove that negative x term. So that works because the 15 plus 1 is 16 and we know that's divisible by 4. So I'm going to choose x to be 1. So when we do point plotting, we choose a value for one of the variables and then we solve for what the other variable has to be in order for that pair of numbers to be a solution to the original equation. So I'm choosing x to be 1 because 15 plus 1 is divisible by 4. So a negative 1 plus 4y is 15 is what happens when I substitute x is equal to 1. Solving for y, we get 4y equals to 16 after we add 1 to both sides. And so divide through by 4, we get y is 4. And so that tells me this ordered pair, 1 comma 4, is a solution to the original equation. Now I want another point. So I can pick another value for x if I wish and solve for y. Or I can do the other direction. We can always pick a value for y. And I know if I pick y is 0, this becomes a very easy equation to solve for x. So I'm going to choose y to be 0 as my other point to start to find my other point. So when I choose y to be 0 and I solve for x, I get negative x plus 4 times 0 is 15. So what does x have to be? Well, negative x is 15. And then solving, we get x equals to negative 15. So that tells me the pair negative 15, 0 is a solution to this equation. Now to graph the line, I need to plot both of these points and then I can just use a straight edge to connect the dots. So I'm going to take uh, my Cartesian coordinate system here and typically a lot of the times we start off by graphing on like windows from negative 10 to 10 on both the x and y axis. Well because that point negative 15, 0 was involved, I knew I had to use a, a larger coordinate on the x. So I went from negative 20 to 20. Uh, for the x-axis and negative 10 to 10 on the y-axis. So plot the two points, negative 15, 0, 1 and 4, and because we knew this to find a line, all the points that are connected with the straight edge here are also a solution to that, to that equation here, negative x plus 4y is 15. Now for the next example, we want to take a look at, well, how do we graph by finding intercepts? Well, what was kind of neat here is, well, on our last example, we already had found an, an intercept. Remember, an intercept is any time uh, a graph intersects either the x-axis or the y-axis. And so this point right here we call an x-intercept because we're crossing the x-axis. And what has to happen to cross the x-axis? Well, the y-coordinate has to be zero. So that gives us a strategy for any equation to find an x-intercept. We have to let y equal to zero and when we solve for x, we get all the points on the x-axis where that equation's graph uh, crosses the x-axis. So we call those all x-intercepts. So in my line here, 2x minus 7y equal to 14, let's say I want to start with the y-intercepts. Well, in order to be a y-intercept, notice that x has to be 0. So to find where the y-coordinate is, I'm going to have to set x equal to 0 and solve. So in this equation, I'm going to find the y-intercepts by setting x equal to 0. And that will give me the corresponding y value. 
So when I put in x equals 0, we get 2 times 0 minus 7y is 14. So solving for y, well that's 0 minus 7y, so that's just minus 7y is 14. I'm going to divide through by minus 7. That gives, gives me an answer of y is negative 2. So this shows because I set x equal to 0, negative 2 is the corresponding y value to make the equation true, that 0, negative 2 is the y-intercept for this line. Well, I want to find the x-intercept, and what we said is, well, y had to be 0. So we're going to set y to be 0 in that equation. When we set y to equal to 0, we get 2x minus 7 times 0 is 14, so that's 2x minus 0, or just 2x, is equal to 14, and I divide through by 2 to get x equal to 7. So when x is 7 and y is 0, we have our x-intercept. Again, we chose y to be 0, and that told me x had to be 7 to make this equation true. So that's the solution to the equation, and it also happens to be our x-intercept. So to graph the equation, or the linear function we could say, I'm going to plot the two points. Here is my y-intercept when x is 0, y is negative 2, and here's my x-intercept, x is 7, y is 0. I connect the, the two points with a straight line, and I have the graph of my uh, linear function, and again that was the 2x minus 7y is 14.